welcome to How to Repair. In this video series I'm going to be going through the top 10 faults on single ovens and cookers. We're going to go through how to diagnose the problem on your cooker, how to rectify the problem and also to get you to the relevant parts that you need for your cooker and associated videos to help you fit the components to your cooker correctly. You will be able to identify the part for your cooker. You will need the full model number. This can normally be found around the cooker door frame. Sometimes they wear off. Sometimes you may need to take the cooker out of its housing in the kitchen. And the number will either be on the side of the cooker or on the rear of the cooker. Make sure you get the correct model number to be able to identify the part correctly. I will be uploading these over the course of the next few weeks. They will also have links in the description below and also on the cards above to all the relevant videos and components. Do make sure that you subscribe to the channel and also click the bell icon. This will give you notification to when a new video is being uploaded and also other programs that are coming during the course of this winter with regards live streaming questions and answers to help you rectify the problems on your appliances. In this video we're going to be discussing why your fuse board is tripping when using the cooker. There are a few different scenarios to, to why this could be occurring. Firstly, your oven may be tripping when you turn the cooker on initially and the fuse board goes directly down. This may be on an RCD or breaker. Secondly, after 10-15 minutes of cooking, the breaker goes down or the RCD goes down. This can be caused by earth leakage getting greater as the elements get hot or another component may be breaking down under load after a period of time. The RCD is a residual circuit device. It is designed to protect you from electric shocks. Sometimes you might have experienced this before you've touched an appliance and you get an electric shock off it. This is because the earth leakage might be coming through the chassis of the machine and the RCD is there to protect you. Let me explain how elements are made and how they work. I have dissected this element for you and in the inner part of the element you will see the filament which is the wire in the middle. Then you will see the white mass around the outside. This is a magnesium oxide or silica as I call it and then you have the outer casing. I have put up an exploded diagram above to show you in more detail. Now this element is a dual element. It is 1200 watt on the inside, 1000 watt on the outside. The resistance value on the outside, which is 1000 watt, is about 50, 52 uh, ohms. And this is 1000 watt. Now, what actually goes wrong with the element? If it was open circuit, the filament is broken. This means that it's unable to heat. But if the breaker is still tripping and it is open circuit, it means that the filament has gone through to the outer casing or the silica is breaking down to an extent which is above the capability of the RCD's safety and therefore the RCD will trip. Now, the element may be good, but the leakage from the inner filament to the outer casing is allowing electricity to pass from the inner filament to the outer casing in a very small amount and it's tripping the fuse board straight away. Or it may trip the fuse board after 10-15 minutes of heating. This means as it's getting hot the silica is breaking down slightly allowing electricity to track from the inner filament to the outer casing which then makes the appliance unsafe and why the RCD trips. Just to keep it simple for you. Right, we've discussed elements and why they either create a direct short that trips a breaker or the earth leakage is exceeding the safety standards on the RCD 
and they are breaking down and tripping the electric. Other components that can cause problems on the cooker are fan motors. Fan motors wear with time and the windings can be going to earth. Uh, that sometimes is a problem either with the main fan motor or sometimes on very rare occasions uh, it will be the cooling fan motor which is on the top of the cooker that's designed to blow the hot air away from the casing. Then you have a quite common fault is cookers either are incorrectly wired up to the mains and the wire is not able to carry the ampage and can cause the neutral to get hot. This sometimes melts the plastic on the terminal block and can cause a direct short which would trip the breaker. A very common item that we'll be discussing later in the video series is the selector switches. Uh, because a lot of people don't use the cooker in the correct fashion, uh, which is not their fault, it's the manufacturers do not print it in the manual, that you should always turn the selector switch on first to the position you require, then the thermostat, not turn the thermostat on and then flick through the selector switch because as the cam rotates on all the points it creates heat and can cause the plastic to melt over a period of time. Another common item is a thermostat. I've dissected this one for you. Because nowadays the build quality on a lot of components aren't what they used to be, the steel on the points are a different quality and after so many thousand uses they can start carbonizing on the points and this can cause it to track to electricity. One of the most common failures is, believe it or not, when a light bulb goes in your cooker for a millisecond it will cause a direct short. This can trip the electricity board as well. But there are many other videos at the website going into all these individual components. So once you're able to understand what's causing the problem, you'll be able to find the associated video at the website. And if you do get stuck, of course, you've always got the contact us page at the website. Other things to be aware of, take the outer casing off the cooker once you've disconnected it, of course, from the electricity supply and inspect all the wiring. Believe it or not, even in a cooker that doesn't move, wires can chaff and if they chaff they may be causing a direct short to the casing and also trip the fuse board in either with a breaker uh, or a direct short. I hope this helps you. In a previous video you saw how to test elements with regards Ohm's law. In later video we will be going through the other components on this. In the next video we'll be dealing with the grill section on the cooker. How the grill works in conjunction with selector switches and thermostats and also on some cookers they use energy regulators either dual or single energy regulators depending on your grill element. And of course in the previous videos that I've already uploaded you will understand how to test elements with regards Ohm's law.